A bridge system is the best way to connect big cities and increase travel opportunities. The world's longest bridges are mostly found in Asia and the United States. Nonetheless, Europe has seen the construction of numerous impressive long bridges. Do you want to know which of these continents' bridges are the most impressive? You read it correctly the top 10 longest bridges in Europe. Stick till the end of the video to know more. Hello and welcome to Meta Projects, where we discuss the most mind-blowing facts about some of the Meta Projects of the world. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you won't miss future updates. Without further ado, let's get straight into this. 1. Ponte Salguero Meyer in Portugal, 4,300 meters. This bridge is designed to transport motorists from one side of the Tagus River to the other. Because this river is so wide, an extremely long bridge was required, but a large part of the bridge is also a viaduct. The bridge was named after a former Portuguese army commander, Fernando Jose Salguero Maia. Driving over the bridge at night is a nightmare. Because there is an airport nearby, there is no lighting. One of the best parts about this bridge is the view that you can have from its edge. The lake gives a mesmerizing view of the river, but you must be careful while walking or driving across this one. One small mistake can cost you a vehicle, and most importantly, your life. So always be cautious of the traffic. 2. Amur Bay Bridge in Russia, 4,364 meters. The Amur Bay Bridge is a low water bridge in Vladivostok, Russia that connects the Tafriz Peninsula to the vicinity of the Mura of the Avamursti, Peninsula's Sedanka Microdistrict. It is one of three large bridges completed in time for the Apex Summit in Vladivostok in 2012. The other two are the Rusky Bridge and the Zolotoid Bridge. The name says it all. This bridge spans the Amur River's bay. The bridge is in Russia's Far East but is officially in Europe. It was immediately recognized as one of Russia's longest bridges upon his arrival. The bridge's construction began in November 2009 in preparation for the 2012 Apex Summit in Vladivostok. The general contractor was Pacific Bridge Construction Company. The facility's grand opening and commissioning occurred on August 11, 2012. It is now a part of Federal Highway A370, which connects Khabarovsk and Vladivostok. 3. President Bridge in Russia, 5,825 meters. When the old Ulyanovsk Bridge became too weak to handle the increasing traffic volume, the Russians decided to construct a brand new bridge that became the President Bridge, which is more than 5 kilometers long. It was difficult because construction took no less than 23 years. This was primarily due to the country's economic and political problems. Today, it is regarded as one of Russia's most impressive works of architecture. The bridge's design began in 1980, and construction began in 1986, with a nine-year timeline. The first pillars went up in 1988, and the first span went up in 1992. It cost 38.4 billion rubles in total, 2008 prices. 4. Olin Bridge in Sweden, 6,072 meters. Sweden is a country filled with water and islands. As a result, it is not surprising that this country has several exceptionally long bridges. The land bridge spans more than 6 kilometers from Kalmar to Fargestaden. When driving over the bridge, you will notice that it is not a smooth ride. The center of the bridge is actually a high point, allowing cargo ships to pass beneath it. The land bridge was dedicated on September 30, 1972. Crown Prince Carl Gustav spoke at the ceremony, which took place on the island side of the bridge. The bridge's construction cost 80 million Swedish kroner. Construction took 4.5 years and used approximately 100,000 cubic meters of concrete. The bridge was also built to transport fresh water from the mainland to the island. The bridge project was widely supported, but there were also protests. 5. Sol Elster Valley Brug in Germany 6,465 meters. The Saul Elster Viaduct is a railway bridge in central Germany that connects the Erfurt Leipzig and Hal High Speed Railway. It was finished in 2013 and debuted in 2015. The viaduct is 6,465 meters, 21,211 feet long, 
making it Germany's longest bridge in Europe's longest high-speed rail bridge. It has a branch that is 2,112 meters, 6,929 feet long. This bridge in Germany is almost entirely made of brick and serves as one of the country's busiest railway crossings. The bridge, also used by cars, has a long history. He was damaged during the Second World War, but the Germans completely restored him. Motorists could once again take advantage of this special transition, beginning in 1946. 6. Great Belt Bridge in Denmark, 6,790 meters. The Great Belt Fixed Link is a multi-element fixed link that spans the Great Belt Strait between Zeeland and Funen in Denmark. It consists of a road suspension bridge, a railway tunnel connecting Zeeland and the small island Sprague in the middle of the Great Belt, and a box girder bridge connecting Sprague and Funen. The total distance is 18 kilometers, 11 mile. The Great Belt Bridge connects the Danish islands of Funen and Zeeland. This impressive suspension bridge debuted in 1998. As a result, motorists no longer had to cross the water on the old ferry. Train traffic also uses the bridge. The link replaced the ferry service, which had been the primary mode of transportation across the Great Belt. After more than 50 years of deliberation, the Danish government decided to build a link in 1986, which opened to rail traffic in 1997 and road traffic in 1998. The link is the largest construction project in Danish history, with an estimated cost of DKK 21.4 billion, 1988 prices. 7. Oresund Bridge in Denmark, 7,845 meters. The Oresund, also known as the Oresund Bridge, is a railway and highway bridge that spans the Oresund Strait between Denmark and Sweden. It is Europe's longest combined road and rail bridge, stretching nearly 8 kilometers, 5 miles, from the Swedish coast to the artificial island Pepperholm in the center of the strait. The crossing is completed by the Brogdon Tunnel, which runs from Pepperholm to the Danish island of Amager. What happens if you want to drive from Denmark to Sweden? Then, of course, you cross an endless bridge. The Orson Bridge spans the Orson Strait, connecting two different countries. This bridge is also important in The Bridge, a popular Netflix series. 8. Lazaria Bridge in Portugal, 11,670 meters. This Portuguese bridge can be found just northeast of Lisbon. Because construction began in 2005, it is a relatively new structure. The bridge was opened in July 2007, and the Portuguese could experience what it was like to travel more than 11 kilometers on a bridge. The bridge's central span is 972 meters long and spans the Tagus and Sorrier rivers. The rest of the bridge is made up of overpasses. With a total length of 12 kilometers, it is the second longest bridge in Europe and the ninth longest in the world. The main bridge spans 972 meters across the Tagus and Sorrier rivers. The bridge took 21 months to build using the balanced cantilever method and opened to traffic in July 2007. 9. Transrapid Versed Sandlingsland in Germany, 12,000 meters. The development of magnetic glider trains is underway in the German Imsland region, and of course, these fast trains must be tested. That is why a test trial was decided upon. This eventually grew into an impressive 12 kilometer long bridge. On these kilometers, trains' top speeds, as well as their start and stop times, can be tested. You could ride as a passenger on one of the trains until 2006. A serious accident occurred that year, killing 23 people. It has since been decided not to admit passengers. Trains carried paying passengers frequently until 2006, possibly to show off the maglev. They routinely reached speeds of up to 420 km per hour. All runs, including those with passengers, were thoroughly monitored with the last car in each of the three car trains crammed with monitoring computers and engineers. 10. Vasco da Gama Bridge in Portugal, 17,185 meters. The longest bridge in Europe, the Vasco da Gama Bridge, with a length of more than 12 kilometers, can be found in Portugal. This bridge was built primarily to alleviate traffic congestion in and around the city. Experts hope this modern bridge would relieve the strain on Lisbon's older bridges. 
This bridge has become a popular route for city residents, with six lanes and numerous driveways. The $1.1 billion projects was divided into four sections, each constructed by a different company and overseen by an independent consortium. The project, which took 18 months to prepare and 18 months to build, employed up to 3,300 people simultaneously. That's the list of the top 10 longest bridges in Europe. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends. Thank you.